Hello, everybody, and welcome back after the long wait. We are here with more stream, more games, and it's going to be Valorant is the name of the game today. It's going to be up against Northwood University, a very, very strong team. I'm once again Matthias, also known as Malthias, and I'm joined by Theo, the Holy One. How are you doing? Doing, doing good today. It's a very, very exciting game between the Saints and Northwood, a very, very strong team on both sides, and it should be a very exciting matchup. Very exciting indeed. We're seeing everybody by ghosts, except for the Saints. They're going to opt for a Sheriff and Light Shield Classic, of course. You want those abilities on Omen. They're so strong. Very good for mixing up your opponent. We have an instant. Ah, uh, they're just shuffling around, so we'll see. You know they're not going to go all ghosts, though. They're going to have some different in store for Northwood. That's going to be St. Clair starting on the defense and Northwood starting on the attack. So here we are. We have Rip Benji. We have the Boombot. And we have the He's uh, turning around the corner, watching it rip Benji very, very closely. We have the duel with the Killjoys right now. There we go. We're already in this. Great. Get some shots off. It doesn't quite hit the mark. The Killjoys are going to back off now the duel. Now we're going to flip back over to a site. There's a big push being made by Northwood. A lot of ground here, accepting a lot of damage. Does get taken up with Smiley. Gets a nice double kill there. This will be spiked down as well. If they can see your sight, this will be huge for them. Caillou getting one shot. Oh, if only he knew he could have gotten two. Dashes out. Gets out pretty safe. He's low. 50 HP. Just a few more bullets away. Very exciting start. They start to round one for St. Clair. They have the 4v2 situation here on the other side of play. is gonna find a kill on the dark. He's gonna be up to rip Benji, but he's gonna go down to Caillou and see the Saints with a very dominant first round victory. They take the pistols and now they look to take the advantage here in the second round. Yeah, Saints winning a pistol round, which is a shock, but they've been yeah, getting yeah. better and better at these pistol rounds. So it is... A surprise to be sure, but that's going to be a major win. Northwood, one of the top ranked universities in all of collegiate esports. They were there. They were Team America in the Red Bull Campus Clutch. St. Clair was Team Canada, so it's a really a battle of the borders here, seeing which team will reign on top. Some of the best teams in collegiate Valorant here facing off. Looks like they're going for a B push here. The little bit of mid control, too. They're going to opt to leave the spike floating there in between. Seeing which side is the safer one. There's a different bot there that's gonna be set off by the omen unless he manages to take it out in time. Now the Saints seem to have wisened up. That's mainly a B push. So gonna secure A. And that's gonna be depth finding a nice kill there. He's gonna try and shock arrow in some corner area. And if get found out by the drone. Oh, he is darkest to loop around. He's being very sneaky, Sne instant getting one. He's there to meet him though. Does he get the shot? He does not. Instant getting another kill. His two kills going over him for the round. He's very, very low though. He does not find one more as Boat takes him out. Boat does take him out, but Seth has a great flank here through mid. Will pick up aim, and it's gonna be the spike down dip. Does find Seth, so it's a 2v2 situation. Now Northwood finding a lot of picks here, but they are stuck in this site without the spike. Let's see if the Saints play this guy. Who's gonna find one, gonna find a second with the Sheriff. Saints are gonna be able to take that round, but they did lose three members. I believe Caillou didn't buy up a weapon there, so he's going to be very, very rich, but the rest of the Saints not going to be looking too good. Caillou's going to opt out for that Operator here in this third round. It's going to be on him to carry this round. You're definitely going to see him probably go up mid or right here. Yeah, definitely. That op is going to be deadly if it's on these longer sightlines. He might even just take, pick A long and watch A main there. And overall, the Saints are looking very good with money, but... Northwood's just looking a bit better right now with full Vandals, even opting for an Odin here. They're gonna bum rush B, it looks like. Down the smokes, boat, prepping the dash. For Flash to go down, scoping out the arrow. Cloud that. Move in. Checking both sides. A lot of ability down. Darkest finding one. Smiley actually gonna find the kill instead. 16 HP in a dream. Oh. The sheriff and finds one through the ground with the head. He twists around, doesn't get, get him, but instant gets one. And oh, he's off with the headshot collat, I must guess, because yeah. there's no way you could get it that quick. It's a huge round for the Saints. Like, a bit of a scuff buy from them, but I mean, great defense they're coming out from them. The shots there on the side, able to stay alive for so long and even find a couple picks was huge 
from Smiley and then the rest of the team came for the cleanup. Caillou still having that operator as well was on A site, so it was a good play call from Northwood University, but they just couldn't get the frags and St. Clair are jumping out to a very, very hot start here in this first map. A very hot start indeed, and now Northwood. 3-0, and oh, they're gonna have to use some cheaper weapons here. They opted for one marshal, trying to get some choice picks here. Speed down that B like he always loves to do. It doesn't find anything though. It's a little owl bot here. It's gonna move over, dodges the paranoia, but Darkest is gonna find a pick as well. Since they're down, 4v5. It's a very slow push up mid from here from north where they are on the save round. They all have the sheriff's though, so still have the firepower and now the man advantage to take this one down. But Inkstein's gonna have to go massive here with the Odin Seth in a bit of a dangerous position as well. Will get smoked off. It's gonna be Inkstein finding one. Not gonna find the second though. Benji's gonna find him. Benji's gonna find another shot there. As now it's gonna be Northwood in a 3v2 situation on the thrifty round. Caillou still has that operator, but it's gonna be hard for Saints to retake this. Very low HP there on the Omen. The plant will go down, Kai gonna look for an early pick, but won't be able to find anything as all three members of Northward are still on the site. I kinda want Kai to pick up a rifle here just cause the guy with 5 HP, yeah, if he I shoots agree. an op shot on him, it's gonna be a wasted shot. He's uh, pulling up on the other end, being the backup support. Kaiyu there, moving smoke's gonna go out, that's a nice one way from Northwood there. Put out a bot, try and bait it out. Try to get the oh, other direction, that's a nice pick from Kaiyu. Gets the dash out as well, in the back corner. Vote gets one, Vote gets two, and that's the first round going over Northwood. And that's a huge round for them, a thrifty round. Not something you expected to see after a 3 0 start, but this might spark the comeback for Northwood Saints. Are going to be able to afford one more full buy, but if they lose this one, they will be in the dirt. Kaiyu yet again going to pick up their operator, but it feels like Northwood has done their scouting. They know that Kaiyu likes to hold, hold that A site with their operator and are trying to avoid him at all costs. But some great picks coming out there for Northwood to start off that round with the sheriffs. We're able to find the headshots and just get onto the site and just use their man advantage perfectly. Yeah, they're just trying to avoid that off because it's so scary, but now it's going to go mid. He's going to get smoked though, so he's going to rotate back over the side. KO Knife going to detect Seth there in the corner. They're going to go high. But the smoke is there waiting for him. I don't know what the plan is. Maybe drop down, but he has a dinkling as to where he is. Oh Check his PC maybe because I don't know how he'd know that. Maybe he heard a footstep or something. Now, a little owl bot here. Oh, they think he's there. He's going to move over. Oh my one God, he and gets one. out! Wow! <laughs> Good pick from Seth. That is crazy. Through the smoke, just spraying it down. Is he gonna be able to pick up one? With Spike is on A site, but Northwood have a couple members making their way up B. All the kills are util is there for the side of St. Clair, so it will not be that easy. But it looks like Northwood do not want to push right through that A site. They're going to be looking to make their way onto B. Instinct, though, has a sneaking suspicion something's happening here. Darkest is going to be able to pick him up. Should get traded out here by Giza. Saint still with the man advantage, but it's going to be Northwood sprinting their way over towards this B site. Giza's going to be able to find a second, and that should be a couple of beautiful picks from him as Caillou's going gonna find one more boat does find the trade but smiley will go down st clair college with another very very good defensive round another amazing round four to one northwood not having a great time so far for such a highly ranked school but you know there's still time to take it back they've been playing on the back foot this whole time they do have so vault and they do have jet ult to play with in this round if they really do need it looks like we're gonna see the knives coming out from boat we'll see what he can do with them it's all about what the Saints can do to react. Yeah. They have the op, but it has light shields. They can't play hyper aggressive here. It's, uh, it's, it's looking pretty good. They're a lot. They're one point away from having a lot of alts as well. Knives. There's knives, and that's going to be lurking mid. That's going to be a good push up mid here. Both leading the charge with the knives. So he's going to be able to find anything. Dash is out actually, so going to have to be a bit more passive here, but they're still making their way onto this B-side. Killjoy is going B main, the rest are up mid. Giza, that's going to be a good swamp grenade there. Going to buy a lot of time for the Saints as Northwood can really push to that Caillou on a monster flank here. If he finds one in his sight lines, should be able to pick up the kill, but nobody's going to be there. The Sova drone is going to come out. Caillou's going to hide away from that one. The Sova does get spotted out, but Dip 
Smith, but as soon as he crosses across here, could get killed. Yes, he will. Kai's gonna find one. Giza's gonna find one. Darkest is gonna find a trade onto Giza. And it's gonna be Northwood pushing their way into this B site. The shots come out there from Inkston, but some whips. Kai is gonna find the trade, but does get taken down. 2v2 situation here. And Smiley gets taken down. The trades are playing perfectly from the side of Northwood University, and they know exactly where the last member from the Saints here is set. Gonna have to find a huge 1v2 clutch here to give Saints a 5 1 lead. Let's see how the swings come through. The flash comes through. He is able to dodge it, but Rip Benji is gonna find that one. And yet again, Northwood University doesn't look like the best round start for them, but on a bit of a cheaper buy, they will pick it up yet again. Yeah, they're winning these thrifty rounds, but it seems like once they're armed to the teeth, they don't perform as well as the Saints. But the Saints now are put in a kind of awkward position. Off to buy light shields here. They have four alts on the ready. Northwood has three. Interesting to see how this round will shake up because I think this round's going to be the most divisive round of them all. Benji is sitting pretty well with some money as long as well as Darkest, but the rest of Northwood isn't doing too well on matching the team. Okay, well, it's KO all. Darkest is going to go in, pops the flash. Only that whole lot there. In the round. So we'll find this. There's the alt. Oh, Found nice a few. That's a nice out. cross oh there my. with Seth getting three kills as a team right now. Seth getting a nice double. Now Giza picking the last one off. Now it's all I down know. to one. It's all down to Ali there. Doesn't have, he has no team to back him up there. And there it is. Beautiful synchronized round. shot there. A beautiful round from the Saints. It just feels like anytime North would actually have a full buy and are ready to go for a big play, they pop that KO ult, they pop that Jet ultimate, but Saints instantly using that Sova ult themselves, able to shut that one down. 5-2 lead now, and it's going to be Northwood, and yet again, one of these weird kind of buys. Have a couple of Vandals, a Bulldog, a Stinger in there, but not a full buy for the team. Still have a couple ultimates, but I can't imagine them investing too much into this round. But maybe they could go for a quick Killjoy play here on A as three members from Saints are on that B site. I was thinking about the Killjoy ult for Northwood as they're not going to have that Sova ult to shut it down. But here we are, Smiley's gonna have to back up as they're full sending it over to A. There's the Sova ult on the side of Northwood. Does he find anything? He found a few, Ooh, doesn't find a times. kill. It's gonna be some nice damage though. Smoke pushes in onto the site. Seth can find a kill. Punt's gonna go down for Northwood. It's gonna be the retake here for the Saints. Defender Killjoy is coming through, and it's gonna to have to be Northwood backing all the way out here, as they don't have anything to break that. Inkstein's gonna pick up a pick. Uh, Smiley does go down, but Inkstein's gonna find a second. Giza finds a third. It's all onto the Sova. Killjoy ult does pop. Nobody detained, but the defuse will come through. Are there any lineups here from Dip? No, there won't be. It looks like he's gonna be saving his Bulldog as Saints with a beautiful retake, and they're gonna be taking a 6-2 lead in this first half. And the only pick that Northwood found was rezzed up by the KO all there so overall that even make him expensive round for him and now Northwood is still struggling money wise to keep up with the Saints they have the Killjoy ult they have the Omen ult they really don't have much to work with here yeah not much to work with here for the side of Northwood have to really wonder what they're gonna do to bring this game back but they, we have seen them win a couple rounds that they shouldn't maybe you know with a bit of a weaker buy let's see how they decide to play this one they're gonna be pushing onto this B side but Caillou playing so so aggressively could maybe instantly find a pick here will take down that Killjoy turret which means that nobody is gonna be there for the time being push up mid coming up from Northwood will be coming out but Caillou is gonna be able to find one can he find a pick onto the second won't be able to but Instinct will help them out there. Beautiful picks coming up from Saints early as they have a 5v3 advantage in this round. We have the advantage right now. He did get a nice target hit there. Instinct's gonna know where he's going now. All the way down here. Rip Benji holding this B side. He does have Spike and he does have ult. So he gets a solo plan. He could hold them up. But with Smiley getting a nice pick there. They're all oh just falling sense. apart now as the Saints pick them off one by one with Smiley cleaning up the round with a nice double. Flawless round from the Saints and flawless half almost so far from them playing so so well able to take advantages at every single point and just they're also all fragging out their bottom fragger has seven kills Seth but that's just all you need great teamwork only seven to nine kills two kills separate their whole team so everyone on the team having a great great performance but they're gonna need to keep it up to take down a team like Northwood who we know are a very very strong team. <laughs> you say that, I don't mean to, <laughs> well, but they're just not having the best game right now. Yeah. The Saints are having the game of their lives, they're hitting every shot, they're doing all the tactics, all the call-ups perfectly. That's 7-2 right now, 
they need to win three rounds here, at least try and make it 5 7. Oh, at this point. wow, with this aim like that, it's gonna be tough with instinct finding one. Guy finding another, and now they're all falling down the dash in. But Boat and Dip getting a nice double, a little bit of a misplay dash, though. Smiley picks it up. And he lives. Smiley could have got traded out there, and he will actually. So now. Randomly, it's a 2v2 situation. Dip! Oh my goodness, what a shot from Dip there. It's gonna be on Kai, on Giza, I apologize, and he will go down. Kind of Saints falling apart there from all angles as Northwood are gonna be able to pick that one up, but they did have a couple members fall, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to afford the full, full buys that they want to, but they do have an operator on their side, and they should have the money for a full buy as Saints. Also very, very rich. They're gonna be a big round here. If Northwood can win this one, they could make this a 7-5 half, but if Saints are able to win this one, they should be able to run away with it and make it a 9-3 half. Yeah, honestly, I think I wanna see Northwood play a little bit more aggressively, a little bit more chaotic, because it seems like they really thrive in that chaos. And that when all those builders were coming out, they just came out oh on top. You see a big dash from Caillou, though. Beautiful He's forcing the chaos. He gets a nice double to start off the round. Smiley finding a one another. That's three players off the board. There's only two left, and they're searching it. Oh. Seth gets one more. Oh Make goodness. that two with Giza cleaning up the round. Beautiful round there. They, that was a set play. They knew that the smoke's gonna come out there and they throw the flash, KO flash right outside of it. A couple blinds come through and Northwood just drop like Fly Saints, putting on the aggressiveness here. Metal, pedal to the metal is gonna be last round of the half. Northwood not really able to afford a full buy. They still have that kill drill ultimate. You have to you have to make sure you use that one this round because you can bring it over to you in the next half. And both of the omens have their ultimates. So let's see. Looks like a B push yet again coming out from Northwood. Yeah, it definitely looks like a B push coming out right now. Darkest coming up, trying to take some ground. They're taking it slower once again, but they're covering all their angles so that doesn't happen to them again. Right now the Saints have a feeling that's how that's gonna go, so they're just playing. Nice and far back. Dip gonna get an ult orb. Now he's just one point away from the solo ult. He's prepping the arrow. Omen so, is that's a nice omen teleport. It's a nice scan as well. He's uh, getting a nice pick there. Around. He is pinged. He is suppressed. Now he's gonna send out an arrow. Finds one. He's in the corner. He's gonna frag that one out. He's gonna have to move. Darkest gets picked out by Giza. Giza getting three kills. He's gonna make that four as he encroaches on the site. There's the Sova alt from Northwood. Just trying to delay the inevitable as all five Saints are still up. It is a 2v5 scenario. Giza gets another oh. kill but gets taken out. Doesn't miss the end. Oh but Dip goodness. getting a 3k at the end there. Oh 4k almost gets the five but Instinct manages to save it at the end. Dip making that one real scary for the side of the Saints but won't be able to find that 1v5 ace. The Saints are going to win these last rounds and they're going to take a 9-3 lead in this first half. A great half from them on the defense. Just have to see what they can come up with on, in the second half on the attack. You only need four rounds to take this map. Four more rounds here to close this one all the way out. Let's see if they can do it on the defense. They're on the attack. My bad. Yeah, okay. Now Northwood has to try and have just as good of a defensive round as the Saints had attacking here. Or half. <laughs> it's defending. My bad. It's been a long time. <laughs> but <laughs> here we are, opting for ghosts, opting for a similar buy that Northwood had, curiously enough. For the first round, opting for more of the classics, more of the abilities, really, to try and open up these sites. And you can see the frenzy buy from Dip. He really wants to play up close and personal on that B site. But Saints are gonna full on rush this A site. There are gonna be a couple swings very, very early. So who can get these early shots will most likely decide the round. Let's see how the fireworks will begin in the second half. Beautiful flash there coming out from both omens as everybody is flashed up. But they're gonna be able to push through quickly. Have to, one more flash maybe to peek into as the dash comes through here from Caillou. The trades come out from the Saints. So two for two here, three for two as they're using the numbers advantage perfectly on that attack they're gonna get the spike down here and having the man advantage should be able to hold this and knock it down very tested with the spike i know someone's watching it dip can't really oh, pick that of that though without being too committal right now Benji trying to take down the door open it up for his team dip oh. finds one with the frenzy almost oh. finds one as instinct just has the trigger discipline there and giza cleans up the round and the saints take this 10 to 3 and, and that 
<laughs> and paper on paper, this means they're gonna get another round. Yeah, I mean that's exactly what you love to see from the attacking team. They use their numbers perfectly. Yes, they did drop a couple members early, but just having those extra three members to pick up the rest of the enemy team was perfectly played by the Saints. And now they're gonna look to run away with this one. They should be able to take the second round, as you said. They have a couple Phantoms, a Guardian. They're going all in here. They need to make sure that Giza, Instinct, and Kai you don't go down this round so they can keep these weapons and just close the map out early. Exactly, if they can do this without losing too many players. Take this entire first game here. Caillou holding the corner very carefully. Dark is playing it very slow. The Saints know they can play the range. They know they can play a little bit slower. But they still are on the attack. Make the first move. Yeah, let's see what the Saints can do here on the defense. It's gonna be on the attack, sorry. They're gonna be going for this B push and nobody from Northwood is here to defend. Not even a Killjoy turret or anything as Northwood have, are kind of conceding this site completely. The Pistol Peak will come through from Benji, but he will go down. Darkest though is really lethal with the Sheriff. We'll be able to find one. Living on one HP will get taken down as the Saints have full control of B site. Plant should be going down. Nobody from Northwood has a weapon, so this should be a lock for round for the Saints unless Things go terribly wrong. Here's where things happen though. Seth Lee holding a ghost. He's going to play these corners very closely and very aggressively if he wants to get these kills. And this is enemy's only a pistol as well. Pick up the drone, gets tagged anyways. They know where he is. He's going to try and peek him. Finds a nice pick. He's going to peek the corner. Oh he gets my. Two, and that instinct gets the third. What a round from the Saints. Beautiful shots there from Seth towards the end, but a perfectly executed round from the Saints. They know they have the advantages in the right spots and they're able to find the picks early, get onto that site. And that's exactly how you want to play this defense. Northwood just kind of falling apart and can't really find a stop on the Saints. But this is going to be their basically final shot here in this map. If they lose this round, it is all over. But Saints still very rich from last round, able to afford four rifles. It's going to be another B push it looks like coming out from them. But as I say that, it looks like Saints are going to look to take control of mid as they do so often. Created by Odin, that might be some dangerous damage coming out from Dip. He's gonna try and open up his mid. All of it right now. He's scoping it out, lock it down. Winners very carefully. Dory's gonna go down over on A, I believe. Caillou scooping in, clearing out his backside very, very thoroughly. They're taking it very slow. Yeah, and you can see Saints showing north with a lot of respect now that both teams have the full buys. They're not just rushing anymore because it's a little bit more dangerous. The sprays are going to come through from Darkest and Instinct, but nobody's going to find anything. But Darkest going to get a lot of info there, spotting out three members. You have to think that it's going to be Northwood with the first pick to this round. Instinct does go down. The swing will come out here from Smiley, though, but won't be able to pick up anything. But Saints do have a number advantage on this B side. Let's see how quickly they decide to play this one. Dip in the back side here alongside with this Killjoy. That Sova drone won't be able to spot out anything, but Benji is going to find one through the wall as Northwood have a 5v3 with Advantage here in this round. Saints still trying to make their way over to this B side, but Bo's gonna pick up Seth, and that should be all she wrote for this round. Let's see if the Saints can pull off a miracle here. It's gonna be Giza up mid looking for someone, but there's nobody to really find this. He sees that jet across the map does not. Smiley is in a bit of a dangerous position, but that's over drone. Might spot him out. He's gonna find a beautiful flick though on to the omen there. Spray's gonna come out from dip, but 13 seconds left for the Saints. Smiley's gonna find a one as Giza goes down. Smiley gonna look to pick up the second. We'll be able to find it. Has a spike, but I don't think he has enough time to get the plan down. His darkest is gonna go around that corner and finish him off. Uh, nice try there from the Saints, but Northwood, after getting their numbers advantage, played it very, very well, and they're gonna make this an 11-4 game. Best thing I can say about that is he did get the plant money for the team, so they're gonna have a couple extra dollars in the bank account going forward. The Saints, though, they only need to win two more rounds. That is the game going over for them. Northwood are going to have to make a massive blitz in these rounds, just continuously win them over and over, because they can only really lose one more. Yeah, let's see if the Saints can pull off something here. They still have the full buys, but so do Northwood. They're going to go for a judge, though. 
and an Odin. So let's see how the attack comes out. It's going to look like another default mid kind of push from the Saints, which they did last round. Didn't work for them then. Could definitely work out for them now as Northwood don't really have anybody playing mid. They're kind of concede conceding all of that. Darkest is going to go for that swing and will find Caillou instantly. Beautiful shot from Darkest as it's going to be Northwood yet again taking the advantage. And they're looking good so far with these weapons on the defensive side. Saints just can't seem to find a breakthrough. They just can't really break through here. They have to be careful with the judge. trees. I think he's going to turn around and check it over and get flashed, though. Holding strong, gets the jump, but... Oh, they said gets two, pushing through trees. And now they're just doing a mad dash over to A. They're trying to rotate, clear this site out. Smiley, here you also have a full mag for what's coming next. If he gets the plant down, he's gonna get that KO ultimate, so let's see how Smiley decides to play this one. Should look for the plant as soon as possible, because that KO ult could secure them this round. More than certainly, Revenge is gonna go on a huge flank here. He has to be careful, but Instinct was third of the round. We'll find Darkit. There's gonna be the KO ultimate coming out, and it's gonna be very, very hard to Northwood for Northwood to push into this one with no utility, but Benji is on a crazy flank here. I don't know if any of the Saints have even a suspicion that there could be a Killjoy behind them somehow, as he's gonna be able to find one, but now he will hear from the rest of his team that there's a flanker. Benji gonna find a second, however, though, so this round is far from over for the Saints. The Soviet drone will come through, but there's not much time left for Northwood. Dip has turned his back to Smiley, will go down, and Seth will pick up Benji. St. Clair College put themselves on map points. Good cross from St. Clair College. They had their backs covered there. But overall, Northwood almost clutched that one up. Very, very close round, but now their backs up against the wall. The Saints only need one more round. And look at the buys from Northwood. Oh, right, those buys aren't looking good, but we've seen them win these thrifties. They, they could potentially bring this one back. They do have KO ult too if they choose to invest that. They might be able to flip this round in their favor, but with one person buying a vet, two people buying a Vandal, it's kind of all over the place right now going into the next round. If there is a next round, if there is, their money's not going to be looking too great. It's going to be a full-on B rush from the Saints. They know they have the weapon advantage, and they're going to get right onto the side. Guy's going to pick up Benji. Smiley's going to pick up Dip and trade that one out onto Giza. The plant should go down immediately here, and Saints playing with such great aggression here. Going to look to close out the map. Plant does come through. 40 seconds left for Northwood to pull off a miracle in this round. They don't really have the weaponry to do this, but they have the man, the men they need. The shots are going to come through in Darkest yet again with that Sheriff. Going to be able to pick up Caillou. 3v3 situation. Very, very doable. KO Ultimate is going to come through. That is massive. Going to buy so much space for them as Boat picks up one. And Saints are kind of dropping like flies. Instincts has to be careful here. We'll be able to pick up the Jet though. That's a huge pickup as they have to force him out of that position. Might have that Sova Ultimate online as well. As Smiley's in the back of sight. They have no ideas here. The Flash is beautiful. The Sova Ultimate ultimate is ready. So defuse is coming through, but look at the solo ultimate. He's going to be able to find one, and he can't get onto the spike. The tag will come through from Ming State onto Darkest, and that will be the first map going over to St. Clair College. 13-4. Very, very dominant map. Ending with a single draw of that bowstring there. That's going to spell the end of Northwood's uh, first game there, and the first win for St. Clair College. Has to look at that score line, the combat score very, very high, but very even all around. You know, Ali just not having the best game there, yeah. but overall, both teams played very, very well. That was a good match. St. Clair just definitely putting on the pressure a little bit and just getting off to that very, very hot start, winning the pistol and then keeping the streak going northward. Just couldn't find a footing for themselves in that game. Did find a couple big rounds, and you could see that they're definitely capable of pulling off some nice and impressive plays, but St. Clair just being a, that tiny bit more better is the reason they were able to take that map. Yeah, St. Clair just played like a perfectly clean game on Ascent, you know, there's not too much uh, crazy stuff you can do on Ascent, like of course there's like trick shots and flicks, but there's no gimmicks on Ascent, there's no rotating doors, there's no teleporters, there's no gimmicks really. It's just a good, clean, solid, plain map, and that's its gimmick. So the Saints played that gimmick very, very well, they took every gunfight that came towards them, and overall, it was just an amazing game to watch, you know, out of some of the two best teams in collegiate saints that were having an amazing game like it it almost didn't seem that way yeah. because it seemed very uncharacteristic of northwood to have such a a, a round if like i think it was 
thirteen to four. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, what did you what did you think? What are some of your thoughts? No, like I, like I said, it was just a great map from the Saints. Like Northwood definitely showed some flashes of a life. They're they're definitely capable of stringing a few rounds together. But just strategy wise, it felt felt like the Saints always had the man advantage, always had the upper hand, and you know, on attack, that we saw how quickly they got onto those sites. Even on defense, playing aggressively, we're just able to go out and get those kills early into the round. It felt like like four or five of those rounds were just flawless rounds where Northwood just couldn't seem to do anything. So if Saints can keep that up, they're going to look to take the series. And it is a best of five for anyone wondering. So we might be in here for a while. Yeah, so while we wait for these games to line up, we're going to send over to a quick break. We'll be right back with game two. Hello, everybody, and here we are with game two of, of potentially five here. And looks like the Saints are going to be starting on attack here on Lotus. Saints winning their first game. The lineup for today is going to be Instinct on Ray, Smiley on the Omen, Seth on the Viper. It's going to be Giza on the Killjoy, and Caillou 
on the Sova. It's going to be a very, very different style of gameplay here on Lotus. Obviously, a bit attack favored considering there are the three bomb sites. So it's going to be interesting to see what team can come up with what type of strategy. And, you know, after such a dominating first round a win, it's going to be Northwood University on the defense and Saints on the attack. Let's see how Saints decide to play this one. Yeah, the Saints are going to have to pl play very, very well here on this attack as, you know, people do say Lotus is a more attacking-sided map, so we'll see if that holds true today. And overall, they've been playing very, very well. They won very hard in the last game. It was 13-4, to so we're looking to see that again. But that's not going to be enough as we're going to have to have at least another one or two games after this. St. Clair is looking for the 3-0. They have had a good track record against Northwood recently, at least in Valorant. Let's see if they can hold that up. Ahead. Let's see the start to the first round. It's going to be Northwood playing very, very aggressively on this C defense. Inkstein's just going to fly in there. He's going to be able to pick up one, but there's one behind him. Going to pick up a second as Seth finds a trade onto the Omen there. Another aggressive play from the Saints, and they're going to make their way onto this side, but Inkstein playing a bit too aggressively will go down there. Saints, though, have full control of there's a B side you have to imagine that they're gonna get the plant down here as soon as possible as the swing is gonna come here from Giza you won't be able to find it will the trade come through from Kyle yes it will 2v1 situation now for the Saints they're gonna make their way over to that A side yeah, 2v1 situation Seth move over with his teammate and it's all down with their Viper doesn't really have much util to try and get onto the site I mean the wall is there but I don't think it's going to count for much. He does have a Sheriff. He does have a shield. So he's looking pretty good going forward. He has everything in the kit that he needs to make this a successful round for himself. Looks like they stacked him as well. You can't buy shields and the Sheriff unless your teammate helps you out there. Defuse come out from Darkest. And q is trying to get in there. Gets half. Got half. Time is right. You might be able to finish this one out. They're going to have to push. I don't know if they only got half. But they're going to take him out anyways as Caillou. Killed around. Beautiful round there from the side of the Saints. We're able to just yet again use their man advantage, find those early picks. Instinct flying in there with the raise, able to find a couple, and you know, couldn't get onto the A side, uh, C site, didn't force it too much. Rotator over, still found the trades, and just made their way over to A, played the 2v1 in tree beautifully, and they're gonna get off to yet another very, very hot stars. They win their third pistol round of the series. Yeah, you love to see it if you're a Saints fan, but if you're a Northwood fan, this is not looking good so far. Do a full save. One person buying light shields. But look at that instinct shredding ball down with the blast back. Now he's gonna go in with Smiley as he finds one as well. It's all down to dip here in the corner. Smiley making it slow. It looks like Seth got that kill on dip. Now 5v1. 5v1. Miracles can happen, but I don't know if it's going to be today, as all he has is a classic and some util. And it'd be better if he just saves the util for next round. Yeah, I don't think he should use any of his utility. He should just go in there and, you know, maybe try and get a kill with the classic, but I think everyone involved knows the chances of that are as close to zero as they can be. This Benji will be going down. Smiley so going to pick that one up as another flawless round for the Saints. Just playing kind of flawlessly as of right now gonna look to pick up this third round in a row if they're able to should be able to get another very very big lead in the start of the game but this is the round that really decides which way the momentum is going to swing sure you win pistol sure you win the next but now northwood has the guns in hands they are operating at full capacity let's see what they can do here bending lotus looks like they're going to stack a once again the saints I feel like they had a sixth sense knowing that's going to happen once again, so they're going to push right on through B with a split push to C. Benji's going to spot out a couple there, and he's going to tell his team instantly, yo guys, I need some help here over on C. You can see the rest of Northwood rotating over very, very quickly, but Saints are playing this one a little bit too slowly. The rest of Northwood will finally be able to make their way onto this Seaside by Saints are gonna full send it in here having those close range weapons with the Spectres definitely gonna look for these close range gun battles that Viper wall is so so good let's see if Darkest is gonna play a bit too aggressive here and gonna go down to Inkstein very very early that's gonna give so much space for the Saints as they're gonna try to take the site over let's see how they decide to play this one they're getting so so deep there's 
Benji here with the Vandal. Kind of their only hope here to maybe find a couple of picks here. Benji gonna be in a great position, gonna be able to find one. The Rays though coming out from Instinct though, won't be able to find anything as Dip takes him down. Smiley though, gonna find a trade on to Benji there. 3v3 situation now, Saints look to hold the site. It's not impossible for Northwood, but it's going to be tough for the Saints right now. They do have bomb oh. down. He's up finding a one. They're going to find a trade up through both. Caillou, right Caillou. Now. Great position from Caillou. Very good position from Caillou. Caillou finding a good pick there out of that. He's going to drop down. Trying to oh. raise, and he does it. Great dueling from Caillou as he gets him over to the bomb and gets the final kill. And Saints are an absolute fire. You're not supposed to win that third round after winning the second, but they just can't seem to be stopped. Northwood not calling any timeouts as well in the series. I find that very, very interesting, you know. Especially after Saints get off to such a hot start, you'd expect maybe the timeout to recuperate your own thoughts, but you could see definitely the Saints have the mental advantage on top of the gameplay advantage now. They're just string rounds together and Northwood are just dropping like flies. Gonna buy sheriff's round. We've seen them do some crazy stuff with these, but once again, they're just gonna full stack A. They're only the killjoy to hold down C. The Saints wasn't up to this, so they're just gonna start sending B. And they're gonna get that Sova ultimate that much closer. Once the drone's gonna come in, these things gonna just try and satchel into that side. We'll take a tiny bit of poke damage, but. Saints looking to take control of C yet again. The spike will slowly be making its way over as Omen does fall on the flank. Saints have a 5v4 situation dip. A bit of a dangerous position here, but Darkest can't see anything over these smoke. Saints, all five members now going to get inside of that C side as they get the plant down. Looking for another swift round victory. Very well for them. Set points one. Reload. It's going to be two going over to the Saints. Three going over to the Saints. And Seth finds one. Giza finds another. Directly on site. Boat shuts down Seth here. Now it's all down to Boat with low health. Giza cleans up the round there. Finding a nice headshot from above. Great positioning from the Saints. Now they're starting to run away with it. 4 and 0. Oh. Woodwood won this round in the last game. Will they do it this time? Yeah, I mean, they're just running away with rounds here. Northwood can't seem to find their footing here. I think Saints are gonna maybe look for uh, a Viper ult play here. They're one, one ultimate point off. You can see they're all stacking in mid. I think they're gonna look for that plant from Seth and maybe get the ultimate down in that B side. And we all know how dangerous Viper ult is on this side. Let's see how Saints decide to play this attack. Try to do this very carefully here. There's only Viper over on B. The drones can figure that out. They find the target as well. That's gonna be Sova ult coming up from Dip. He found a few but didn't do any damage, unfortunately. And now, Darkest is just lurking here in this smoke, playing a weird off angle, trying to get the jump on the Saints with Boat not too far behind. He's holding this A site very, very steadily. As the Saints rotate over to A, it's going to be a very, very explosive meeting here. Ali getting a reload there, jumping, probably alerting the Saints that someone's there now. Take it a little bit more carefully, there's Paranoia, and it's just back out. Now, with time ticking, the Saints are being a little indecisive here. Well, they're just baiting out Util right now from Northwood. They've gotten already the Sova ultimate and the blind from Omen. I think they're going to look to bomb rush at this B site, but you could see heading towards that C site is the Viper with the spike. So let's see what they decide to do here. Inkstain's going to fly into the middle here. He's going to go for an early push, finds one. Going to look for the second, will be able to find it. Oh my goodness, almost finding the third on Ali there, but the trade does come through, but this gives Saints so much space to work with. Benji on his lonesome here, will be able to find one pick, finds the second. And the Saints had no idea that the killjoy was on this side, and that flips the round back in the favor of Northwood. They have to find this killjoy kill early, but Benji doing God's work on this side. Ten seconds left. Saints have to move quickly in the 2v1, but Giza is going to be able to make it a 1v1. Now going to go for the classic kill there. Won't be able to find this Northwood pick up their first round of the half. Ooh, that was a very close round, but looks like we're going to have a little bit of a repeat of the last game. Northwood winning their first round. Hopefully trying to carry this a little bit further than they did last time. But money wise, they're a bit scattered here. Looks like Boat is gonna buy a Spectre. Gonna have to go Light Shields. And the Saints are still going to be able to buy some decent weapons here. They're fully armed actually, they have a full buy, all rifles, all shielded up, and they also have a Viper ult if they really do need it. 
Yeah, that was a round scene that they're gonna want back. Could have had that one there, but the kill drift from Sam Northwood found a couple great, great picks there early on. Speaking of great picks early on, Smiley's gonna pick up Valgood, and that should open up the attack here for the Saints. They're gonna use the Sova drone, gonna spot out one. As three more members from Northwood are on this A site, let's see if Saints decide to force this A site of their if they decide to rotate over. They're gonna look to force it, and Ali gonna find a couple picks. Really, really nice shots from Ali there. Saints kind of just losing their man advantage these past few rounds. Instinct's gonna look maybe for a satchel peek here. Won't be peeking that one, but Ali's gonna find his third of the round as Smiley is gonna find the trade there. Smiley missing that shot there as Dip's gonna be able to pick that one up. Now in the 1v3 situation, it's Giza yet again in the clutch. Gonna get head tap, but will find the kill. Having the Vandal there plant will go down here, but on 10 HP, it's just gonna be so, so hard to win this round. He's just in a really rough spot. That Viper shotgun is gonna take him out. Now Northwood taking about two to four. He's starting to take this one back. And now the Saints are gonna have to play the disadvantage. They're gonna have much in the way of guns. You're gonna have two players who are able to afford stuff. Actually, I think they all are able to afford stuff, but they're gonna be running it pretty close if they lose this next round. Yeah, both teams kind of in the same boat here. Speaking of boat, only has 2,000 credits. Will buy a Spectre, but it does have that raise ultimate. Gonna see probably that one pop this round. Saints gonna go for a little bit more of a default push yet again. As let's see who can find the picks early on here. Yeah, ooh, boat. Ali gonna find a one out of the, out of, off the bat here. It's gonna be a big one as well. That's gonna be instinct taken off the board for St. Clair College. Guy yeah, you're gonna send out the drone. That's gonna scout ahead and try and figure out which site is the clearest. Right now it's looking to be B, but there's gonna be two who are taking over on B. And now with playing a little bit aggressively, they're really pushing up on every single one of these sites. Yeah, they don't yeah. have the man advantage for the third round here in a row. See how they decide to play the Seth. Just waiting here around the corner, knows that the judge could be right there. Attacker Killjoy gonna be on C, but that's only one member of the Saints on that C site. Ali with the judge gonna be able to pick up a couple of Saints, kind of wasting their Killjoy ultimate, and it's gonna be Northwood looking to pick up their third round in a row here. Yeah, we do use Omen ult to try and, try and grab Spike here. They save it. Smiley's gonna commit to this C plant here. But it is a 5v2. The odds are stacked against them. Dark is spraying it down, preventing the plant. Getting a sleep as well. He finds a nice pick. It's a v2 situation, but he's just running low. Finds another. It's a 4v2. 2v3 right now. There's a killjoy all. push that. He's gonna have to push this. So now or never, the Saints are playing very, very well. They both try and shoot it, but Rip Bench is there to punish. It's a nice double. Rip Benji playing that one perfectly, baiting both of them to swing right when they should have been swinging left. And it's gonna be Northwood able to pick up three rounds in a row here. The Saints are gonna be forced to a buy. And Northwood really finding their footing here in this game, finding a couple crucial plays from uh, Ali and Benji in these last few rounds. You can see they're the only one really with a lot of kills for the side of Northwood. Nine and seven, respectively, for them as the rest of the team having a bit of a rough game. But they're able to make this a 3-4 game as Saints are forced onto a save here. And the kills don't really matter as long as you put those runs up on the board. That's all that matters in the end. And one thing I want to point out is Ali oh, was having an awful time in the last game. He's bottom of the leaderboard by a large margin. Now he's cruising on up at the top. Looks like he's using some different strats in this game. Finds one with the explosion there. We both taking out. Uh, oh my god! Wow, goodness. the Saints get a nice 3k there, and now they're going to shred it down to 2. The flank will come out from the Killjoy, but it's only Benji on this flank as the rest of his team drops. Saints able to use their weapons so, so well here on the thrifty round. Right and I think a bit of an over-aggressive play there from Northwood. Yes, you get a pick with that Razor, but you're giving away a Vandal for nothing. As It's going to be Benji in a very, very hard position here for the 1v3. I don't think Saints have any idea though that Benji could be on this flank. Caillou will be able to find a headshot, a nice little body shot there through the wall as Saints take a crucial round here and make it a 5-3 game. After three, a few more rounds, quite a few more rounds left here. And flipping on the other side. So far the Saints are playing the attack very well and looking at the money. It's looking like Northwood's gonna go and try and save next. Yeah. Just buying sheriffs, buying a guardian. 
have a couple ults to play with. They do have the Viper ult. As well as Seth has had the Viper ult for quite while. a few rounds a long now. Time. But not really finding a good opportunity to use it, I don't think. It's going to be a full-on firefight here. And it's going to be a good start yet again for the side of North. Whereas they find a couple early picks in Saints. When they have that weapon advantage, just seem like they play maybe sometimes too aggressively as Northwood has figured out a way to pick up these thrifty rounds. Caillou is going to look for a couple picks here, but it's going to be Northwood with a very, very great start to this round. That drone is going to be able to find a couple. Giza, though, finds one pick, leaves that omen on one HP as Northwood are dropping like flies. Seth going to pick up Benji on the back end. Does he have any idea that there's a raise here just running without... Uh, Weapon in his hands does go down, but still in a 2v3 situation, Viper is dead, so no Viper ultimate. But Giza is going to be able to pick up both, and this should secure the A site for the side of the Saints. But they have no idea that Northwood, their last two members, are all the way in their spawn. Yeah, Saints do have the advantage health wise, but if Northwood could get the jump on the oh like, turret, gets the kill! <laughs> turret. Yeah, Giza finding three now. It's all down to one, it's all down to dip here. He popped off a lot in the last game. Now it's up to him to try and clutch this round. It looks like the plant is gonna go over to the A side. And we already know how Saints are gonna play this. They're both gonna sit in this tree area. Caillou having those drones and Dip's gonna open this door up, but a bit of a dangerous play if he does decide to do so. Sova Dart, it's an interesting lineup. Does that get inside of tree? Let's see it. He's gonna open up to the same side. Play this one. Both members spot out. Dip's gonna be able to find one. Almost flicking onto Giza there, but won't be able to find it. Giza with a 4k. Able to bring that back for Sinclair College. That could have been a huge round for the side of North with a thrifty. They were able to pick it up as Saints. Clutching up when it matters most. Able to take a 6 3 lead. Yeah, clutch by the Saints there. That door kill got me a little bit worried there, but they managed to clutch it up all the same. Saints. Both teams looking pretty even on buys. Northwood still having to buy quite a few light shields though. Two of their members they do have the Viper Fit, they do have the Silver Alt, and they do have the Owen Alt. They have quite a few alts if they choose to invest it here. That might be what they need to swing this round in their favor. Silver Alt's gonna come out early from Caillou here, but he won't be able to spot out anything on C, which means Saints are gonna make their way onto that site very, very quickly. I would love for them to use this a Viper ult here. Let's see. They're able to make their way in. They're waiting a little bit too long here, but obviously they have no idea who is here for the side of Northwood. Finally, they're gonna choose to make their way in. Killjoy Util is there. Will get taken down. Let's see how they decide to play this attack. Giza has to be very, very careful here. He's able to find the pick. He's able to get out with his life here. Would be massive, but Ali's gonna go for a peek there. Will go down as well. Saints having a 5v3 advantage need to capitalize off it on this round. They have the Killjoy ultimate. They have the Viper ultimate. Instinct in a beautiful position here. Will be able to spot out one. Benji gonna pick up a kill early, but Giza and Sev finding the trades. It's gonna be all up to the Sova, who's gonna be running for his life dip in mid. Gonna have to pull off a miracle to win this round, but Saints looking so, so strong in this in this first half yeah they're looking very very strong Giza turning around here again dip closing in could get shot getting a nice <laughs> flick from behind but it's not gonna be enough as Caillou finishes off the round the Saints are now taking back their lead seven to three a little bit closer than it was before but right now it's looking like that gap is gonna widen even further well last map it was seven three as well if you don't, uh, if you forgot about it, it was. It was 7 3, and I said if Northwood can win a couple rounds here, make this 7 5 half would be crucial. But if Saints can win these next two and make it a 9 3 half, it's going to be a very, very hard map for Northwood to win. And it's going to be Northwood on this save round by a couple Stinger Sheriffs and a Judge Alley. Going to have to pull off a miracle here with that one. Bo it's going to just double satchel in there, get a good position here. But Saints have no worries about that. They're going to be rushing their way onto here. Beautiful smoke play there. It's going to be able to find one. Instinct does fall down to Benji, but the Saints should be full throttle running into the seaside. Let's see how they decide to play this. Actually going to choose to slow it down a little bit as the solo is going to come out from the side of Northwood. They're going to be able to find one with that and another tag there. Pulling down to run. 1 HP. Saints are going to use that Killjoy ultimate. Benji on 20 HP. 
the fact that he was able to survive with his life was a massive but the site should be very very free for the saints here they do not have their viper so that ultimate won't be used actually they do have their viper i apologize seth it's gonna have to have a massive ultimate here but dip's gonna take down smiley with that stinger saints on another round where they really have the advantage struggling they're gonna pop that viper ultimate let's see how they decide to play this one seth gonna take a lot of damage giza on full hp with that vandal it's gonna have to do so much work to win this round here for the saints gonna be able to find one but does go down immediately it's gonna be seth in the one if they're able to find one it'll pick up the second now it's gonna be a 1v1 situation now has no idea where this raise is but gonna look for a swing here gonna leave the viper ult for just a second as he has enough time maybe to swing all the way to the other side the bomb is taking down. but still a good amount of time the viper ult will go down as the raise is going to get desperate on 60 hp we'll look for a peek here as seth has to be careful here does look for a shot with the shorty but wasn't even looking for the kill there finds another one using that cover so so well and forced to go to the defuse is both seth with amazing play there in the viper ult able to find the clutch yet again as northwood gets so so close to that thrifty route but saints denied them yet again very close round of a very divisive round there as now it's not looking great as St. Clair has really taken the lead in points. There's only one more going into the half. 9-3 half is not looking good for them once again, but 8-4 is a lot better. Let's see if they'll be able to manage to do it. They do have a full buy. They still have lockdown. They still have a Viper Pit of their own. So if they play this right, it could really go their way. Looks like Instinct does have the Showstopper as well on board. Ali going to... Challenge that oh. he gets a kill. That's gonna nice two off the board, but oh he meets good dip. Trade, good trade. Good trade. Oh Ooh, even a Chris. better trade there as Giza finds another. 3v1 situation in a matter of seconds for the Saints here, and you have to believe they're gonna be able to take that 9-3 lead into the half yet again. It's gonna be all on this killjoy on the defense, trying to pull off that 1v3. Has the ultimate Benji. See if he can get anything done. Has to find a kill early on here. As gives away his position by placing that one down. And Giza is going to be able to take him down. Saints yet again able to take that 9 3 lead into the half. It's a very dangerous spot to use the ult. You know, you can shoot that from behind the wall. You don't want to put it there. But it's desperate times. Call for desperate measures. But nonetheless, Saints just playing very, very well right now. It's 9 3. If they can win this pistol, they'll be in a oh, yeah. very good spot once again. And they've won every pistol so far, so definitely have to feel like they have the upper hand in these pistol rounds. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. Now they're on the defense, so you have to contend with defending three sites. Lotus is a little bit tricky, but luckily it's not too big of a map, so the rotates really happen pretty quickly. And overall, the Saints, I see they have for the defense. Looks like they're doing a similar comp as to what Northwood did. But we'll see if they can execute it just a little bit better. And Northwood going for like a split map push here, not really working together. As Giza is going to get tagged up once, but he's just making sure nobody can make their way up. See there, he was willing to trade a bit of HP for that info. It's going to be a full on A push, it looks like, from the side of Northwood. But as soon as that smoke comes out, they're going to say, guys, are we sure we want to push through? Inkstein could find a massive nade. If he just chucks it in there, let's see if he's able to do so. Huge smoke gonna come from Smiley as the trades are coming out. Ali and Benji gonna find the first two picks of the round there, but a lot of damage onto the backside. Ixin was gonna be able to find one, won't be able to pick up the second as Ali just kind of swung around that corner, but it's gonna be Benji with three kills in this first round and Giza on the flank. Will be able to find one, able to find the second and it's a 1v1 situation now. The plant's going down from dip, but if Giza can turn around this corner very, very quickly, should be able to find the pick and it's gonna push through. Knows how to help advantage and Giza with a 1v3 clutch on the flank will be able to pick up the fourth pistol round of the series for the Saints as they look to take the second map in quick fashion. An amazing clutch there from Giza. Just perfect playing, perfect timing, and perfect execution. Did not falter under the pressure. And managed to clutch it up. Now the Saints can be armed to the team. They're going to have the range advantage. And that's going to be huge on the defense. And we're seeing an outlaw being invested by Ali. They're going to try and scramble. They're going to try and buy everything they can muster here on the attack for, uh, for Northwood here. And I... I am a little bit worried for them here. Because they're really gonna have to play these long sight lines with what guns they're buying. A Guardian, an Outlaw, and a Marshal. They're just going full sniper here. They're gonna push onto this A site. Yeah, the shot's gonna come out of it from both, but Saints having these weapons. 
definitely gonna be good for them. Darkest does have a guardian for themselves, so you can see Northwood definitely getting it with Despers. The outlaw is here for Ali. It's the first time of the series we've seen anybody pick that up. Let's see when Northwood can cook up here on the attack. Seth only having a pistol here. We'll look for a pick early, but Dark is gonna find the entry frag on to Giza. Now Saints know that Northwood are very, very well armed to win this round, but Inkstein's gonna find a pick onto Benji. Seth gonna find one onto Ali as well, living on 10 HP, but just having his life is so, so crucial here in this position. Gonna look for the swing onto Boat here. Boat in a very, very dangerous position there, but able to stay alive. Seth gonna find yet another one, a smiley, and Seth just gonna walk through Northwood University. They're gonna be able to pick that one up, and Northwood forcing up that round will not have any money for this next round. The Saints are just running away with this one. It looks like Smiley even gets an upgrade of the gun there from picking up the Guardian and now Northwood is just playing with scraps right now. Yeah, sure, one of them can buy a Bulldog, one of them can buy a Shotgun, but that's not going to be enough to contend with the firepower the Saints currently have. And they're going to opt for the Marshall again. They're just going to try and force this one as they need to win around. They need to win it quick. So they don't have much rounds left up or so this isn't it. They're still going to be flat broke going into the next round. Yeah, they really tried something last round, but Saints just having the number of Northwood here, putting on an amazing performance for us, but Northwood still have a chance in this map. They're going to look to push onto the side. Seth's going to be able to spot one out. Still only has the Ghost for some reason, but Giza is going to be able to pick up one, and the peak will come through from him, but Benji with a beautiful shot onto him to trade that one out. Dip's going to be able to pick up Seth, but Caillou able to find a couple picks with that Guardian. Don't look for the third. Won't be able to find it. 2v2 situation here for Northwood is on the thrifty round yet again, somehow managing to get themselves in such a good position, but let's see how Instinct and Seth decide to play this one. Smiley, sorry, has the Guardian here. Plant will be going down from Darkest. Shots will come through from the Saints. So Smiley has to be careful. So there's gonna be one right next to him. Does he have any idea that there is... Oh, that's his teammate, I apologize. Inkstein's gonna be going through Tree here. Gonna try and get some positioning for himself as it's gonna be both members of Northwood playing on the side of St. Clair. Pick will come through for Inkstein. 2v1 situation. Wanna see them play together here as the trade does come out. Inkstein does fall, but Smiley picks him up. It's going to be a 12-3 lead for the Saints here as they put themselves on map point and look to take a 2-0 lead in the series. It's looking like that's going to be the case, especially with how much Northwood has been investing over and over. I think they're going to be able to buy another <laughs> slight buy here. Maybe one got a rifle, buy, two rifles, but three rifles and some light shields. They're not going to be able to match the firepower of the Saints, though. We've seen them win worse maps, or worse buys, so yeah. potentially they could still squeak out a couple of rounds here, but I don't think Northwood's going to win six rounds, or nine rounds in a row and take this. Yeah, very, very unlikely here. Saints are going to look to finish this one off quickly and go to that decisive third map. Tip going to throw out that so of a dart, and let's see how Northwood approach this attack. Still no timeouts coming up from them, which I find very, very interesting. Maybe they've just a bit too tilted here. Just want to get the second map over with and look for the reverse sweep. But let's see how Saints play this defense. Some shots going to go down to Darkest here as Caillou is in a very, very good position here. Ready for the crossfire soon as it's needed. Some shots going to come out here from both. That wall has not been broken yet, Seth. Beautiful wall bang on to Darkest there. Viper diff right there to start off the round. Smiley gonna pick up Benji and Northwood are just falling like flies. Caillou's gonna break that door down very, very soon and might be able to find another kill for himself. Both does pick up Seth, however, so Northwood with a bit of life in this 14th round. 14th? 16th round. My math isn't too good there, but let's see. Caillou on the flank will finally break that door down. We'll be able to find one. Same same 3v2 situation. 3v1 situation is Giza takes down dip and it's gonna be all up to Ali who's gonna be going down to Giza Saints with a very very swift second map and they're gonna be able to take a 2-0 lead in the series. An amazing start to this series for St. Clair College only needing one more game and it's just not looking like it's Northwood's day right now as I mean look at that Giza Seth all of them looking very very good but I'm just sensing inconsistency from Northwood right now. Like, Darkest was at the top of the kill, kill board last yeah. game, and Ali was at the bottom. Now it's flipped, and we just need them continuing to play this game. And we're going to be loading right, right into in. our third map, which is going to be split. 
We're just blitzing through this. It's a best of Rain five, up. but it's going to take as it's long. The, yeah, it's the locker room. Oh, right I don't think Northwood are too happy. Oh, no. I think the Northwood's locking all duelists <laughs> here. As long as we don't see the Yoru, I think it's a good comp. If we see the Yoru, okay. it's going to be a bit of a rough comp. Maybe they just jumped the gun here. Maybe it's just not what they're going to be picking. We I shall mean, see soon enough. I mean, I think this might be it. And I think Northwood might be Oh, it's not a troll. It's not. It's not. I think they're just tilting off the face of the planet after just getting kind of smacked around those first two maps. By St. Clair College and Saints definitely are going to be surprised by the comp of Northwood. They're going to realize that Northwood are really breaking down mentally and they're going to look to push the advantage as much as they can. I think they should lock five duelists <laughs> because I remember in a Game Changers match, I think it was like one of the finals of the Game Changers, uh, they all locked duelists, not thinking it was an actual round. They thought they were testing the ping, mm -hmm. but they locked all five duelists and they actually rolled that map. Oh my and goodness. It worked out great, even though it was supposed to be a very evenly set match. So we shall see, but they're not going to lock the five duelists. They're going to lock the Omen and the Sky. We're going to get right into this. It's going to be a tip comp coming out from the Saints. We're going to see Instinct on Ray, Smiley on the Breach, Seth on Omen. That's going to be Giza on the Cypher, and of course, Caillou on the KO. I mean, you just have to think what's going through Northwood's players' heads right now. Considering those first two maps were 12, 13-4, uh, 13-3, I believe. No timeouts, no nothing, no, no attempt to slow down Saints as they were rolling through them. Northwood just really not stepping up to the plate in this final. But as we said, it is a best of five. It is far from over. All it takes is a round here and a round there, and you could be back on the reverse sweep. Yes, and this is a very important game to win. This is the Seabell North Winners Finals. Don't know if we said that before, but it's a yep. very important game. This is decide. This is the one that decides whoever goes on to the great big game and qualifies for the next upcoming things here. But it's going to be very, very decisive here. We really want to win this one, and Northwood now has to look for the reverse sweep, and it's going to be very tough. I mean, someone's typing in chat that we can't see it, but it's definitely probably the same thing. Guys, why are we locking in Reyna, Jet, and Rays on this map? But I think Northwood, we don't want to see their response because God knows what that could be. Let's see how the first round starts off. It's going to be Northwood on the defense, St. Clair on the attack as all five members are alive for both sides. Instinct going for a dangerous swing there. Doesn't go down to dip, does get flashed out. We'll have to be careful here as Boat is in a bit of a dangerous position here. We'll be able to find a pick on to Kai who's just running around with his knife and it might be the Saints who are kind of let off the gas pedal here. But Giza's going to be able to find the trade there onto Boat as Saints make their way onto this A side. Benji going to pick up a kill onto Giza in, this, in his own spawn as Darkest. is in a dangerous position here on the Reyna. Should be able to find the killer, but Smiley just turns on him, takes him down. Seth going to take down Benji and Dip and Saints are an absolute fire. They're going to have a 3-1 post plan here in this first round. Going to look to take yet another pistol round in this series. They're looking very clean. It's a 3v1 and pistol. It is winnable, especially with Smiley being a little bit low. He's just a few bullets away from death. But with how this round has gone, it shouldn't go the way of Northwood. It should just go all the way to Saints with how cleanly they played this pistol. We see Ali go up, try and creep up to heaven. He might get the jump on a player. If he oh my, that timing. And Instinct isn't going to check his back, but he manages to flip it in time, but doesn't get the kill. That's going to be a nice upgrade, though. Maybe he'll win this one. 50 HP. It's not looking good, but he sprays the smoke. It's a kill. Beautiful round for the Saints, and I'm going to take a 1-0 lead here. I have a feeling this map might be another very, very impressive scoreline from the Saints here. They're going to be buying up the Vandals immediately here at Phantom as well, as it looks like Saints just want to speed run this map and take the victory here. Northwood, really, we're able to find a couple kills here and there. Uh, someone said cheating something in chat. That That's not good. That's definitely not good, but I don't think, I don't anyone's, think anyone's cheating. cheating. <laughs> I don't think anyone's cheating. I think Northwood might be a bit upset that they got smoked in the first two maps, but they still have room for coming back. I don't understand why they're getting so upset. St. Clair going to look for the sweep here in the Grand Finals. Ooh, and Darkest gets a beautiful start to the round for Northwood, but St. Clair are going to be able to find the trade as they're going to just make their way onto the side. The plant should go down, and in the 4v4 situation, having a good advantage should, this round should be very, very good for the Saints. But Dip has something to say about it. We'll find a pick on to Kayo, and they're going to full-on bomb rush your boat with the shorty. Only on so many bullets, the going to be able to find a couple. What is that telephone? He does go down to Dip. St. Clair College, 2v3 situation. 
situation. Northwood could definitely pick this one up as Saints did buy a lot of weapons, but Inkson, such a crisp shot there onto the 2v2 situation. Saints still have a bit of util to work with. Smiley have those flashes. The nades are there. Beautiful flash there, but the trades are there for Northwood, and in the second round, they're going to be able to pick this round up. Beautiful turnaround from them after losing the pistol, and this is going to definitely put them on track for a comeback in this series. Major round for Northwood here, and they're gonna have a Vandal going next. That's not gonna. That's gonna be very good for them. St. Clair is gonna be very far behind in money. A few of them didn't buy, so they're still pretty flush with cash. I think we might see just a full save all around from the Saints. We're gonna see Seth be the hero. Vandal try and match the price of the rest of the Saints. I could pay dividends here. I don't think they're gonna be expecting a Vandal on the side of the Saints after that round. So. Having that in the pocket is going to be very nice going forward. As long as Seth doesn't die early and give it up to right Dip, there. who ended up buying an Outlaw. That Outlaw is going to just shred through his defenses, though. That's going to be a one shot kill. Yeah, Next well, one. a couple of one shot kills. Yeah, there's Dip finding another one shot as well. She sent out the dog. Doesn't find much. Prepping the flash to set against it, though. Dark is finding another headshot there. Very good for Northwood. Caillou creeping up. Seth finding one. Caillou holding the tight corner. Looking for the headshot. He one. Looking for two. Doesn't quite find it. There's a third though waiting for him. And Benji's going to get another. Not the round for Northwood as they're able to string a couple of rounds together here. And I think this is very important for them as, you know, they definitely were kind of uh, distraught after the first two maps, but you could see a bit of life coming back into them, finding some big, big shots in big plays. Dip leading the way on that jet, and maybe the three duelist comp isn't a troll comp. Maybe that's what they actually practice here, and they just look to out frag teams on this map. But Saints gonna be able to afford a full buy, gonna be a massive round for both sides here coming up. Yeah, on the, this is performing better on defense than I would think. You know, duelists are just more uh, inclined to be able to push on the side, but they're managing to push on the defense. And just working out quite well for them. Over checking the corners. For a three push here over on A. Actually, a full five push. Taking it nice and slow. Boat is waiting with the judge. He tries to find one as oh, 5HP gets the trade. And now the Saints are down a man. So it's Northwood, so it's a little bit even. Back off, Benji flashing out. Smiley gonna get the plant over on A. It's gonna be a hectic round as 4v4 are still up. And Seth's gonna be able to pick up Benji. Ali's gonna be on the flank here, but a beautiful smoke actually. Will give him a lot of room to work with. There goes the bind as well. But Seth, even blinded, is gonna be able to pick up Darkest. Beautiful shot for him. He's gonna be able to pick up Ali and Seth. Gonna pick up Dip Saints back on the board be able to make it a 2-2 game as they're looking to take a couple of rounds in a row here's gonna be another full buy coming out from northwood dip gonna be able to afford that operator but this is go big or go home from the side of northwood if they drop this one saints gonna look to run away with it yeah this is it this is the round that's gonna count both teams are armed to the teeth both gonna opt for that judge again and they're gonna have an op to counterbalance that close range it's gonna be dip with the op there I don't think we haven't seen Dip with the op yet. We saw him with the outlaw and he did pretty well. So this on paper should be pretty scary for the Saints. They're gonna play carefully. Oh my and that is not careful as Parkus takes instinct, just <laughs> blasting all the way in there. Steph using the ult gets a little bit of info with Dip getting another kill. The Saints are falling apart as Zarkus finds another. It's 2v5 for the Saints. It's not looking good. <laughs> I mean, Saints are just playing like Northwood have completely given up, but they have not. They're still in this game and trying their best to win. Dip, beautiful shorty play. There's going to be able to pick up Seth Caillou in the 1v5 now. Definitely not in a good position. Northwood showing a little signs of a life here. Going to be able to pick up this round. It looks like Caillou's not even going to be able to find one. It's both picks up the kill. Their flawless round for Northwood University just using Saints' aggressiveness against them. But it's still pretty even. Northwood only has one round on the Saints. We could make it another as they still have all the guns in the last round. Saints, I think, just need to try and focus on taking them down, make it a little bit more expensive as they keep sw trading these wins. Now it's a question of who can live the longest, who can preserve their economy the best. And right now, the Saints are going to try and full buy. They're putting a lot into this round. They do have. Uh, the breach all to play with, but Cypher ult's not gonna come clutch there. Darkest is waiting, but it gets taken on by Instinct. This little 
last round. Caillou is trying to clear out the classic. Get any info he can. Doesn't find much though. I mean, the Saints should play for Caillou to pick up that rifle up in mid. That'd be a great start to the round for them. Having them at advantage already is a beautiful start. Taking down the arena first is a crucial pickup instinct. Definitely trying to find some space here for his teammates. But won't be able to find too much. Boat is staying true to this judge. He's picking this one up every round. And I don't think it's the worst idea. Every time the judge has been picked up by North, North Coast, who has been a pick for them. Benji going to take a bit of poke damage there. I saw a sniper ultimate there. Breach ultimate comes out to heaven. Saints going to look to push through quickly here as they have the man advantage. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Jet with the shorty. We'll be able to find one. The trade comes out from Giza though. Seth going to be able to pick up one. And Benji on this backside won't find any kills there the swing will come through from Giza and he will be able to find down it's gonna be a one before situation now for Ali yeah, it's all down to Ali here he was the top breaker of the last game so you know he has the skills within him it could go his way but nope Giza is gonna shut that rate down with 10 HP and three kills in the round three seems to be a lucky number as we have had three rounds on both sides it's not gonna be so lucky Northwood as they're going to be flat broke if they lose this round. This is the last round they're going to buy any good guns. As they do have some ultimates to play with though, yeah. so it should swing their way yeah. if they choose to invest in those ultimates. Yeah, I mean, they do have the ultimates and they need to use them to really get an advantage. I, I believe this is a bit more of a decided, sided, defensive sided map, sorry. As you know, only two... Uh, Two real bomb sites to attack. Yes, there is mid, but the Ray's ultimate's gonna come out very, very early for Mixing. Gonna get up into heaven very, very easily. Let's see if he can find a pick with that one. Can look for a shot around the corners. Dip with the knives. Is not gonna be able to find one of the darkest and both picking up a couple early picks and both with that judge will be able to just run through the side of the Saints. Yet again, the Saints just playing a bit maybe too aggressively for their own good, and it's Northwood who are able to capitalize. They're gonna be able to find one. Dark is getting the last kill there onto Smiley. Northwood University yet again taking a round over the Saints. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Saints have just kind of bull scented A main every single time. Like, yeah. I think we had one round. It was the round we won. It was when they sent it through mid to B. That's the one time when they took it a little bit slower. Yeah. They really played for that mid control and they got it and it worked out great for them. Sure they had to invest the breach alt, but I think even without the breach alt, going B, going mid, is definitely the play for them as this A site is not going well. Yeah, it's not looking the best, but it's not looking the worst either. Let's see what Saints like to do on their save round. It's gonna be old coming up from Ray's boat. They're trying to re replicate something Instinct was trying to do last round, but I don't think he's gonna be able to find anything as well. Steph's gonna take down Dip early on and now Northwood getting a bit too aggressive taking a page out of the Saints but Giza knows that both sitting in that corner with that judge and that's two kills early on the save round for the side of the Saints they're gonna get a couple weapons here and let's see how they decide to play this attack yeah it's gonna be a nice upgrade for a few of those teammates Ali gonna move around try and get the flank on the Saints in mid but the Saints after getting two oh, picks now dead. they feel much more comfortable going this A site. Wow, Ali just barely misses the rotate, but Darkest is there to meet him. Equaling as where they are, gets one pick and gets out the arena. Tell clear the heaven here, block it off and block off screen, but he knows one's there. And Darkest still not cleared, gets another kill. Three seekers coming out from Benji. The Saints are really in a bad spot. It's 1v3, and they just fell apart there after the lead they got. Yeah, I mean, Saints just playing super sloppily right now. Able to find a couple early picks that were gifted to them by Northwood, but just not able to do anything off it. And that's going to be one that you want back if you're a fan, of, if you're a Saints fan. That's a round you want to play again. But they're going to be able to afford a full buy here. Definitely have to win this one. Otherwise, Northwood are going to be the one running away with it. Dip's going to be able to pick up that operator. And Darkest on this rain up, 10 and 4, having an absolute amazing third map for themselves. Yeah, they're playing decently well right now. St. Clair just need to clean up their act and try and play this a little bit more carefully. He's gonna block out Dip, but he's not gonna be discouraged as he finds a nice op shot on Instinct. Now Seth is gonna try and clear out that mid, and no one's there to meet him. They have total mid control right now. They could go A, they could go B, they have a multitude of, op of options. Caillou 
Knight's looking to make that push towards A. Trying to secure heaven here. But there's going to be two to meet him here. Looks like Giza's going to meet the jet over up in heaven. And Boat's oh, going to be encroaching with the judge if they try and rotate back. But wow, Smiley finds a pick. That's going to be massive. Both could have gone massive there, but beautiful peak. They are coming out. The pick will come through. As it's going to be a 4v4 situation here. Weapons on both sides. It's going to be Saints full on rushing in to this A heaven place. They're getting the Cypher ult off, so they know exactly where everyone is. But Benji is going to be able to find one. The trade comes out from Gi, the KO ultimate coming out from the Saints with just hard counters. The rain, Giza in a beautiful spot here. None of his teammates are up heaven, so Dip will eventually be forced to walk through there with the operator, and that should be a pretty easy kill for him. Smiley in a dangerous position, as I said, Giza going to be able to pick up Dip there. 3v2 situation now for the Saints. Smiley has to be careful or not to go down will not be able to find the train at the darkest but we'll find it after a second thought now 2v1 as Giza third kill of the round beautiful round from the Saints and a much needed one at that much needed run Northwood was really starting to get ahead there but now they need to win this next one Northwood still has more uh, enough money to keep buying here they need to win just one more to try and put a dent in that economy but overall, it's a pretty even game. Sure, it seems like Northwood's having a little bit of the better game right now, but they are on defense, and they are just only one point ahead. It's not like how the Saints had them on the ropes the entire time. But the thing is, Northwood do have three duelists. They should be, in retrospect, just stronger on the attack, considering the firepower that they will have. Let's see how the push will look like from Northwood University. Seth just gonna TP into that Cypher Trap. Will he be able to find Dip? No, he won't be, but Dip does get traded out. And the rest of the Saints both on the flank here with the Judge, but too far away as Saints are gonna just push him down there. Both will be able to get out of his life, but Dark is gonna find one, does get traded out. Both yet again, just flying in there on the raise, looking for something, but Saints have the 3v2. So advantage here, have to be careful. He's just playing way too aggressively, not knowing where the enemy team is, and just not using your number advantage to your advantage as Kaio's gonna be able to find one but the trade comes out from Saints. Saints are just playing a little bit too sloppy here. They're finding the advantages but just not able to capitalize it like they have in the first two maps. Yeah, I keep noticing that they get an amazing pick like it's 4, 4v5 four or even 3v5. They just kind of toss that advantage out the window. They run way too aggressive, They're a little bit too confident. They don't move as a team. They, lose the, they don't use the numbers advantage ever. And now, he's a, he's the only one with a gun. Looks like the Saints might go into its next half. Uh, nine, or eight, eight to four. Yeah, it's gonna be a save round from the Saints here. Let's see if they're able to find anything on attack. Inkson has to find this pick here early on. We'll look for the shot through the wall. Does he even find the headshot? No, would have been a very hard shot there. Both yet again with the judge. Has definitely has figured out something about the Saints, and that is that the Saints love to play aggressively. Judge's interesting pickup. Dip's gonna find one and dip out of there. As both picks up yet and again one more with that judge. But Saints able to find a couple picks back. Should be able to pick up a couple weapons as they're making their way onto that B side. It's gonna be all alley here. Is he gonna be able to find the kills? No, he's gonna just back out as Saints maybe playing this round a little bit better. Darkest does pop the Empress Divider, but just won't be able to find any picks onto the Reyna at that time. Saints still sticking around this A side. Is gonna look to get the plant down in the 3v3 situation. That's Reyna all the way still there. <laughs> Unable to find any picks, but he's gonna find one from up top. It's the info for his team. It is a 2v3. This should go over Northwood unless the Saints can manage to sc scramble something here. Uh, it's not looking good though as Smiley's trying to go over the streets. He's gonna get met. Dog there, that's a good It's gonna be huge as Darkest finds one more. It's a 1v3 situation. Will Smiley be able to hold this one? He gets one, but none able to get any more. As this is looking to be eight. Or 7 4 right now. Yeah, Saints are going to be able to afford one final buy here on the attack. And, you know, we haven't seen them go B one time this round. I think if there's a time to do so, this would be the round. Let's see how they decide to play it. You can see a couple of them moving over towards that B side early on, but might still stick to that A push, which has been sort of working out for them. Just kind of maybe a couple of mistakes here and there that they usually wouldn't make. And, uh, they're gonna look to come back in this map. This would be the round they'd this go would, B. Yeah, it <laughs> so would be. Uh -huh. we, will, we shall see if they do that. And looks like it. it looks like they're gonna send. They're gonna send the cipher Giza over on A. Find a pick there, maybe. Knives coming up on the side of Northwood. 
They have more ults on the side of St. Clair. That's what I like to see. All the ults being combo together. Oh. Takes out the knives. He doesn't do it. He dashes behind him. But his teammate gets a kill. That's going to be a trade coming out. Both teams right now. As Mitch is taken out. But as he used his ult before he went down. Instinct. Now playing the defense with ben Darkest finding one. Kaya going to find a double kill though. Hey, it's ultimate. a 2v2 situation. And the KO ult is still going off. Caillou still nice, works for where gets a 4k. Will oh, Caillou get the judge. ace? He has a judge. It's a very good position for the Saints. Caillou's gonna peek the smoke. He has a feeling he's there, but he's gonna play it carefully. They don't know which side he's gonna come from. If he only spit the smoke, if he only knew he'd get the ace. But Seth gonna clear up the round, and that's gonna be good. That's a good five, seven, half. I mean, if not for the heroics of Caillou in that round, this would be an eight, four, half for the side of Northwood, but those four kills, they're definitely gonna swing the momentum back in the favor of the Saints. If they're able to pick up this pistol round as they have every single pistol, other pistol round of this series so far, they're gonna look to bring this game back on the defense and close the series out 3-0. Yeah, they're looking to try and close this all the way out. And if they can try and even up the score line here, winning the pistol, they'll be in a very good spot. Now, looks like they're just gonna go for a big clash in mid. Both teams are gonna probably run it down here. And the Saints should have the numbers advantage of all five something down here. That's gonna be a big knife. Now they know all five are down there. They're gonna back off. They know they don't have numbers advantage. The Saints are smiley. Hold strong. Huge. Huge stun, huge flash as well, but catches his teammate there. Kai's gonna find a couple very early on, though. Smiley gonna throw out another flash, maybe. No one will look to do so. Jet living on one HP. Benji will take down Kai. Saints have to be careful here not to play too aggressively. A smiley is gonna walk up. Seth's gonna be able to find one. His Saints are looking like they're in a very, very good position here. Giza on the flank yet again. We'll be able to pick up a couple insane so far. Flawless on the pistol rounds will make this a 6 7 game. Great start to defense on the Saints side. Now they're going to invest in some weapons here, a little bit on the cheaper side as they did this on the last round. But overall, I mean, looking very close here. This should, in theory, go over to the Saints, but we've seen Northwood win these thrifty rounds time and time again. That's really where they truly shine. And we'll see if the Saints are able to even up the scoreline here. We have Instinct opting for the Outlaw. It should go their way. Off here. That's the outlaw. Oh. Gets one. Gets oh. two. He's gonna have to reload here. That's a great couple first picks. Gets one. I thought that was him, but that was Kayu getting the third there through the wall. Nice <laughs> headshot as well. And He's Boat with the pistol. Oh, Sev. Please check the corner, Sev. Please. He's yes, gonna check the corner. And oh, he doesn't check Getting the a skill check there. That's gonna give a Spectre over the raise. He's getting another pick. Sprays all on their lonesome. Does have a Spectre, so that could prove to be trouble. But no, that Outlaw, so good against Thrifty. That's the Thrifty killer there. 7-7. Seven, yeah. seven. Maybe that's something Saints need to look forward to in the future. You know, they've gotten Thrifty a couple of times against Northwood, but that Outlaw just single-handedly shut down the whole push of Northwood up that mid. But this is going to be the crucial round of this second half. Can Northwood finally win that third round that they've been struggling to find so far in the series? or will Saints be able to lock them down yet again? I think a lot of it's going to be on Instinct and that Outlaw. Yeah, this Outlaw, in theory, I was just about to say, in theory, should be able to take down two of those players. The judge player and another rifle with the light shields. Bomb rush. This whole bomb rush over to B, and it's just going to be clear. At least they don't get a pick. The Saints are able to rotate out and then play for retake. It's going to be a very easy take here from Northwood. Seth's going to get pushed by everybody. We'll be able to still get out of his life, but Smiley finds a little pick there. But both does find the trade. Seth doing so much to stay alive. That's just so crucial for the team. But Ali with the judge will be able to pick up Inksing. Finds a huge tag there onto one as well. And it's Northwood with these judges just able to find the right place as Ali is going to find one more. Seth going to be able to find a pick, but will get taken down as it's going to be Northwood University with those judges and close range weapons really tearing St. Clair apart. Yeah, you rarely see such a high skilled team run judges as consistently as Northwood and as effectively as well. It's just 
and shreds through the Saints' back line if he gets the right angle, especially on the Omen with the TP closes gaps so easily. It's it's insane to see it just utterly decimate the Saints every single time. Yeah, it was both at first with the judges, but now Ali picked that one up on this on they couldn't really afford much and it was all he was able to buy. Let's see how the attack comes here for North with Darkest and Seth gonna have a huge crucial 1v1 here. Whoever wins this one should have full control of this place and it's gonna be Darkest taking down Seth Bakayu. Able to instantly find a couple back in mid. Jumping into the middle though for some reason. Very, very interesting play after finding a couple of kills. Not too sure why he thought that was the best idea. Had a lot of cover to work with there, but it's still two crucial picks from Caillou's. It's a 3v3 situation and Northwood look to push through on the attack. Yeah, it's looking oh, very dicey. Giza finds one. Now he just needs to rotate over with the team. The Saints, you have the number advantage right now, and the spike isn't down. He's gonna run out the clock and try and keep it up, I guess. That's oh, oh my huge and wow, what a pick Cypher from instinct. Just a great pick all around. Jeez, in that corner clutch was great. And now, this is an even the winning pistol. Really put them in position for now. It's kind of back and forth. We might even see an overtime coming out. Unless the Saints can prove us wrong, the Saints can start to get a lead and really put Northwood in a bad spot economically like they are right now. If they lose this round, they're going to not be able to buy anything good for a few rounds. So, yeah, this is a very crucial round. And that last round, Giza popping that Cypher ultimate across the map forced the members of Northwood to just instantly run in through Instinct there, but just couldn't find it. It's going to be a full-on rush from Northwood onto this A site, but Saints are pretty well equipped to defend against this one, able to slow them down immediately, as now they have the weapon advantages. Just Saints just need to play this one slow. And should be able to find the picks from across the map, but Inksing playing way too far there. It's gonna get taken down. It's good. Both gonna get traded out though from Giza and Saints are still holding strong on this A side as the flank is coming out from their Omen, but let's see how soon now it's gonna come out. The K ultimate forced by the Northwood for the Saints there. And it's gonna be a nice ultimate to get out on the thrifty round. Kyle's gonna find a headshot through the wall there, but won't be able to pick up the pick. And it's gonna be the flank here from Giza yet again. Kyle's gonna be able to find the second. Seth picking up the third and they're coming from all angles. It's going to be very, very hard to win this one. If you're a Northwood fan, Bench is going to be able to pick, if we could one, pick up a second, but Kai with a pistol will trade that out. St. Clair taking a 9-8 lead and looking to run away with the second half. Yeah, that's going to be a massive round now. Northwood's just going to be down and out gun-wise. They're going to buy a couple Frenzies. He's going to buy a couple Thrifties. And we've seen them win stuff like that before, but honestly, the main thing that Saints have to worry about is this Judge and that Rifle on the other side. But if they manage to win this round, they should be able to keep Northwood <laughs> down in the economy. And if they can just keep them at bay, it should be a good round going with them. Instincts. Probably gonna run the showstopper here. There's the Seekers and Benji here. Gonna flash out B as well. Now there's a showstopper coming out from Instinct. That's gonna stop the B push. A nice read from him. Even if he doesn't get any kills, that's a lot of time burned out of the clock. Very, very important time burned off because Northwood have been so effective when they just get onto the side early. Dark is gonna have to find a pick here. Does spot out Seth. The result is gonna come out from Bolt, but taken down by Inkston, who picks up the judge this round. Will he be able to find the second? Both judge players here as Inkston just has that little bit more damage and the trade comes out from Benji, but Smiley and Seth will be able to pick it up. It's gonna be all up to Darkest here on the rain. It does have that ultimate activated. Was able to find one pick up there. Will both go through smoke? We'll pick up a second. It's still a very, very winnable round for Darkest, but he's just gonna get out with his his life and only has a stinger saints don't have the bomb so it's gonna be him uh, dark is gonna probably walk over towards that a side and look to get the plan down but saints doing very very well in this round so far very well in this round but it looks like darks does have the spike so he will be able to rotate over to a get the plant down and make the same retake. oh that's huge now they know that's gonna be a big wire the Saints to try and clutch this one out. He doesn't have ult anymore. All he has is a frenzy to his name. And they need to play together here, the Saints. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous swing here from Darkest. Playing a little bit too aggressively maybe with that Stinger. But it was going to be a very, very hard clutch to do. Especially considering he's playing right now. Doesn't really have too much utility to himself. Saints, crucial, crucial round for them that time. As Northward are just forcing up the weapons every single round, it seems like. Seems like that's just going to be it going forward. They would feel the need to try and win the one of these rounds. Because if they do win, they'll be able to buy rifles. But they 
Katara able to buy rifles this round? Light shields. Still gonna be light shields if Guardian someone Touch. wants to buy an outlaw. It would be devastating oh. this round if Smiley or Instinct even opts to buy it if a teammate gets them an outlaw. It could be massive. I think that would be a great play, but they're gonna go up to give him that judge again. He was able to do so much on that last round, and he's playing towards that B side up in heaven. If Northwood drop this round, they're gonna be in a very, very rough spot in this third map. Saints are on match point, they are up 2-0 in the series, but this is the closest map we've seen so far. Northwood really putting on a show for us in this last map. Yeah, Northwood playing very, very well. Boat trying. Oh, Seth. Playing very slowly. Oh, too early. Seth, a little bit of an early pre fire. Gets some nice damage, though, on the jet. Half health. Finds the pick. Finds oh, another. Yeah. Looking for another, but he gets out. Luckily enough, that's going to be a blast pack oh. coming out from Instinct. Gets around the world, around the tower there. Reyna's on A. It's going to have to be a rotate. I don't think Smiley's going to be ready for it. Oh, he looked though. Just missed. The body shot hits. Doesn't get the kill. And everybody's rotating over. If Northwood pulled off a fake there and just made their way over to that B side, it would be wide open for them. But Darkest in the 1v2 misses a crucial shot there onto Sep, who picks up his third kill of the round. Smiley's gonna pick up Ali and it's gonna be all up to Benji, who's gonna find somehow a couple picks there. Rushing onto the site now, still has the spike, has to get the plant down. But Benji with a couple of beautiful shots there. If the P comes out from Caillou at any time, could be a very dangerous one at that. The plant might be going down in just a second, but Benji letting the time clock oh but it's gonna get shot from heaven kai you're gonna take that one down and that's gonna be a crucial round win for the saints as north would four stop that round shouldn't be able to afford too much of this round but it just looks like they're forcing every single round maybe a little bit of tilt coming out from their side yeah i think with the loss streak they do have they should be able to buy light shield and some sort of rifle consistently each round but this is not looking good for northwood they are going to have to find an amazing round here somewhere if they want to keep this alive. But overall, the Saints are just in a great spot. 11 to 8, only two more rounds they need to win this whole series and go further in the Seabell Winners Finals. And they're just leaving the spike in spawn now. They're just going to look for the kills here on the side. But Saints playing this one very, very passively. Let's see how they play this one on the defense. It's going to be Northwood trying to make their way up a site, but Saints are not budging. Smiley in a very dangerous position here with the Vandal. We'll look for an early swing. Let's get spotted out and instantly smoked through that wall. Boat's going to fly in with the Judge right in front of Kai there. Oh my goodness, the range on that is crazy, but Dark is helping him out there. This could be another round win for Northwood Giza. Has to be careful here. This swing will come through from Boat. He's sitting in that corner, but Giza whiffing just too many shots there. It's going to be Northwood taking a spike and making their way over to B, actually. Saints are just not playing like how they've been playing. This round is a very awkward round. That first kill, I think, just sent them into disarray. Seth has to beat this smartly, but it does not. As Darkest finds another kill. Dip. Just scouting it out, trying to find the kill, and it's all down the instinct. He's gonna try and make this round as expensive as it can get. He wants to put a dent into the economy here. He dashes oh another, my. finds another kill. Oh, this should be another one. Oh, look for another, doesn't find the kill. He's just trying to take on the whole team, but the paranoia really comes in clutch there. It's gonna be Ali getting the final kill of the round. And this feels like Northwood is just finding the right kills at the right time in the right rounds and it's still far from game over. 9 to 11 now. Saints will have a bit of a scuffed buy here as well. They can't really afford the full buy as it's going to be Northwood themselves who are able to buy a couple of judges here. It's going to be a very, very crucial round if Northwood can take this one. Could 100% make this an 11-11 game and could send us that much closer to overtime. The Saints really need to win at least one more round and try and send it overtime because at this rate, Northwood really could just sweep it all the way to the end and may make this 13-11. to Really nice early pick. Smiley prepping the concussion here in mid. Trying to hold it off. Now it's probably looking to be an A push though. Spike is on B as well as a complete split push from Northwood. Just trying to draw out the detail for the Saints. Boat's really gonna go in here with the <laughs> shotgun. Doesn't find it though. As Saints are get nice two early picks here. Smiley's gonna rotate over to mid, trying to take control of it here. Gonna go back as the smoke does go back. It's a cipher ult on the side of the Saints. Do they know Jets over on B3 or over on B? Now we're gonna see a nice five-man rotate over to B. 
Roll does come out, but Jed falls instantly. Caillou with a beautiful shot. Last two members are here. Nice shot again from Caillou. Benji able to find a couple of trades back, but Caillou with his fourth of the round. Well put Saints on map point and on serious point as they look for the 3-0 sweep over Northwood. Yeah, that was the round you need to win in Caillou with the classic Caillou clutch. He manages to win that one, and now he has Hey, well, ready. If things really come down to it, that's going to be a massive halt. Shut down that Reyna if the Reyna doesn't pop that instantly. And Rip Benji does have Seekers, so this is going to be a very crazy round going forward. It will be a crazy round indeed. Let's see how Northwood decides to play this one. Benji will get stunned off early, but it's going to be Darkest who falls for his trouble. Smiley going to pick up Benji, and this could be all she wrote. You can see they're both moving over there with the raise. I believe has the judge yet again. Of course, he does, but the rest of the Saints are just going to back out early here. Instinct's going to drop that boom, but going to find out he's there. Uh, we might see an ultimate come out. The boom, but actually did connect. Kai is going to pick up dip. And now it's a 5v2. Northwood are dropping like flies. Caillou will take himself down as the revive should be coming through. A bit of a trolling going on there. But Saints in the 5v2 definitely feel very, very confident in this round as they should be able to take this 1-3-0 over Northwood. Wow, and that's a big couple picks there on the side of Saints. They get the res. Both with the judge. The Judge Boat going to be crazy here, but he doesn't get it, and that's going to be a flawless round to end it off for the Saints. And that was really Northwood at their full capacity there in that round. That's what you expect to see going forward. They finally seem to get warmed up there at the end, but overall, 3-0 from St. Clair College. They just played one heck of a game. And Darkest and Rip Benji, not to count them out, they're up there with the best. They're up there with Caillou for how well they played. Without a doubt, a beautiful series from St. Clair College. They take it 13-4, 13-3, and then 39 at the end there. Against Northwood, a very, very strong opponent. A 3-0 is definitely going to be something that they're going to be happy about. And they're going to look to keep that momentum and winning streak going for the rest of the season. Exactly. They played everything very, very well. And now Saints get to advance beyond this Seaval North Finals. They played an amazing game. And you can tell that they're one of the top of the line teams. The best of the best. Beating out Northwood, who's one of the best of the best North Amer American teams. So that just goes to show how well our Saints are playing. Yeah, they're playing on absolute fire. Have to big give a big congratulations to them. It doesn't it's not easy to beat Northwood 3 0. I don't know if any teams have ever done that before, but they made a Northwood seem like not Northwood today. They definitely threw them off their game and threw in some strategies that Northwood weren't expecting. Yeah, it was a great showing all around. Congrats to all those players and congrats to the St. Clair team for winning it all or advancing, winning all three games in this best of five. It really felt like a best of two with how yeah. short this was, but overall it was a great gameplay to watch. But with all that said, thank you, Theo, for joining me here of on course. the desk. Thank you, everybody in the back. I believe it's just Daniil, Amanda, and Ari there. And thank you, viewers, for watching. And make sure to follow our socials to stay up to date on everything Saints-related, all our new games, all our events, everything. We post there daily, so you're going to want to make sure to follow. Yeah, also make sure we have to say thank you to our sponsors. We have Tim Hortons, Subway, HyperX, the SRC, uh, Sinclair Alumni, and the SRC. Uh, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, the St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair oh. College Alumni Association. And, folks, big Saints fans and big Pokemon fans, you don't want to miss our stream tomorrow. We're going to be streaming some VGC, our first time ever doing that, as far as I know, yeah. in recent history. It's going to be good. You don't want to miss it. And that is going to be at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a fun time. So make sure to join us there. With all that said, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.